Hey guys, I'm just, oh gosh, I'm sick. So I'm trying to psych myself up for this video. Today we are going to be making this awesome Captain Planet cake. Captain Planet, he's the hero. No, it's Captain America. I should make a Captain Planet cake though. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Now Robert Downey Jr's Iron Man was the first Avenger to appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but Captain America was the first Avenger. Period. I'm excited to see him in Avengers Infinity War and I'm excited to show you this cake. So let's get started. You can't see it. I thought you'd be able to see it. I fell asleep on my bracelets like this and I woke up like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> and it left a mark, but you can't see it because the lights like come this way so there's no shadow. I'm not feeling well you guys, so I'm gonna sit down. All right, is it okay if I sit down? That's fine. Yeah, to create this cake, the first thing I did was draw my Captain America. It makes it so much easier to visualize a cake when I can see it right away. I also know how big and how small all of my little fondant pieces are gonna be. Now, one of my favorite things about Captain America is his conviction. It's one of the things that really drives his character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it's definitely why he's not really Captain America right now. Steve Rogers was willing to give up his time title is Captain America because of his beliefs. I hope he doesn't die. I haven't seen the movie yet. Please don't die. Now for this cake, I am using a yellow cake. Um, it is a box cake, but I added cream cheese to it. And I don't actually know how much. I'm still kind of experimenting with how much cream cheese is like the perfect amount because I added too much cream cheese. And you know, I didn't think it would be a problem to add too much cream cheese, but it felt more like a fudge than a cake. <laughs> I'm curious, how many of you guys actually bake your cakes from scratch or do you use box cakes? And if you do bake your cake from scratch, what is your favorite recipe? Now I cut out my basic bay shape and then I divided my cake into two layers, added some buttercream into the middle. And I feel like these videos are progressively going to get shorter and shorter because it's the same process all day, every day. Today's video is sponsored by me. Those are my hands. And those hands also designed this shirt. Look at this. Koali Pops 12, because I started Koali Pops in 2012. The year the world was supposed to end was a year that life began. You can purchase this shirt and so much more in my Koali Pop store. Some of you have bought things. Can you send me pictures, please, of the things that you bought? Three people bought beach towels. I want to see them in action at the beach. Send me those pictures. I placed my cake onto my cake stand and then I used my sidekick meatball to round out all of Captain America's features. And I was kind of debating on whether or not I should call him Meatball because I eat the veggie balls at Ikea, not the meatballs. But veggie ball doesn't sound as good as meatball. Veggie ball or meatball? Veggie ball. Uh, and now I use my sidekick veggie ball. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I gave my cake a crumb coat, added a fix it coat of buttercream as well. And while it was in the kitchen, and while it was chilling, I was watching this documentary called Wild Wild Country on Netflix. And what? There's. Uh, I don't know, it, it might be, okay, I, I don't really know how to label this. I think it's about a cult, but I also want to be sensitive to people who believe in it. So I'm going to say it was about a group of people who lived in a commune and uh, believed in something. It might be too crazy for my lifestyle, but to each their own. It was a really interesting documentary. So if you're an adult and you're looking for a really interesting documentary, then you should watch it. I, I, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and I covered my entire cake with Captain America skin tone colored fondant. I just worked it all the way down to the bottom of the cake with my hands. And then I started to emphasize his chin and the separation between his arms and his legs. I added a thinner layer of blue fondant to create his suits. Now to create his suit, I covered his entire body with a royal blue fondant. Actually, what color is this? Oh, it's like a cosmic cobalt. 
Oh man. Did you guys ever watch Battlestar Galactica? I'm gonna quiz you. Cobalt was a stepping stone to finding what planet? Do you know? You better know. I'm gonna be sad if you don't know. Now I just used some sculpting tools to separate his arms and his legs. And I pushed the fondant underneath the cake so that it would round the sides of the cake as well, making it look like a like a, a plush. It looks less and less like cake and more and more like a toy. Now I cut away the excess with my meatball. Mm. And then I cut away some of the blue fondant at the end of his arms so that I could reveal his tiny little hands. After that, I started to build Captain America. Now, if you want to recreate this cake, I've got my picture of Captain America on my Kuali Pops Facebook page. So make sure you head over there and you give me a like, and it'll probably never pop up in your feed because I don't post anything. Maybe in the future, maybe. Oh, the future is wild. Hopefully not as wild as a wild, wild country. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was watching. Now to create all of Captain America's different features, I rolled my fondant out two hours earlier just so that they would crust a little bit and it would be easier for me to get sharp edges. To stick all of these pieces to the cake, I added a little bit of magic sauce to the back of each of them. You know, I went to my cousin's house yesterday to, I thought we were gonna like play some magic sauce games and like have fun and instead she was serving us tang t-a-n-g tang tang was my favorite drink in the 90s it's just like a powder you put into water and she was like mixing it in this plastic picnic sort of pitcher but we were like at a house <laughs> i'm being so judgmental right now you guys when i was looking at it i was like a little disappointed but when i started to drink it it just brought me back so many memories it was like a good flashback have you guys ever had tang before i still remember the commercials with like the monkey and like he's riding an orange wave it was just I loved it. On a side note, if you ever run out of magic sauce, you could probably use Tang on the back of each piece. That should work too. Now my favorite Captain America movie is Captain America Civil War. Some people really enjoyed Captain America First Avenger. I, I wasn't one of them. Now Civil War was like Avengers 2.5. But it also was the best example of his conviction and his beliefs progressing the character's journey throughout all of, you know, his time in the cinematic universe. Now his decisions were what divided the Avengers and now we're going into Infinity War with all of the repercussions of what he did. Please don't die, gosh, I hope he doesn't die. The world still needs those abs. <laughs> now I like Captain America, but I don't know what's going on with this bromance with Bucky. This is like ride or die territory. I've seen a lot of like really deep bromances like Matt Damon, and Ben Affleck, Good Will Hunting, you know? And then there was like Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean. And then there was like uh, Buzz Lightyear and Woody Harrelson, Woody. What, did he have a last name? No, huh? Woody the Cowboy. But by far, this is like the broiest bromance in the entire uh, Broniverse. I wish I had that. And also, don't die, Captain America. We need you to flex. <laughs> if you're looking for more Infinity War content, I've got you covered, homie. I've got cupcakes, cakes, and treats that'll help you throw an awesome Avengers Infinity War party. I also have a Bay playlist so you can see all my Bay cake. Now to create Captain America's mask, I did it with one piece of blue fondant. I make it look so easy, right? I actually had to do this five times. It's fondant and it's pliable and so the eyes would get stretched out and I'd have to re-roll the fondant and cut them out again. It was really difficult and I was really frustrated but I'm happy because eventually I did it right. I loved this and when I placed on the Captain America A on his helmet, Oh, I was so happy. And voila, my Captain America Bay cake. Yo, he's looking so fresh in this. Now I'm curious, how many of you already have your Avengers Infinity War tickets? I bought mine the day that they released pre-sale tickets and I'm watching it in IMAX in downtown Disney. And I'll be in Disneyland that entire day. So if you're in Disneyland on the 27th, then you can say hi if you want You better. I'll be mad if you don't. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!